Hi, this is Attorney Mike Gravel coming to you from Chicago as usual. And today we're going to do a First Amendment audit. My first foray into the Glenn Serio situation. I've had a lot of requests to do this and uh, I, I resisted it until now, but somebody sent me a little something to sweeten the pot and it makes it sort of fun. Let's do it. Well, I guess I should give a little background. We've got Glenn here at a post office in Washington. He's been asked to leave numerous times. I cut most of it out because as usual, it's kind of boring. <laughs> but uh, it starts to improve here. Please stay away from me. You are harassing me. Please step away from me. You have been following me around the whole building. I'm going to report you. I know it's not the point of the video, but just I look at that as a man and it's just so pathetic that that whole display. Uh, this the, the woman was reasonable and asked him to leave because he was creeping everybody out. And then and then he has that reaction. It's just it's just embarrassing. Hi, how are you doing? How are you guys doing? Um, well, if I may explain, um, we're in a federal building. This yeah. is public property. Um, photos are allowed for news purposes and advertisement. Per poster seven, rules and regulations of the post office. She claims she's the postmaster. She has not identified herself. Mm -hmm. I have not um, bothered anyone. I just stood in the background recording. She's come out real aggressively, approached me, threatened me several times, saying that she's going to have me arrested, <laughs> saying that I'm trespassing. I've tried to explain to her. Has she asked you to leave? She has asked me to leave, yes. Okay, okay. And is she the... Uh, I, I give him credit. The, the guy's whole shtick is to be annoying. He's good at it. He's a pro. You, you, you cannot you cannot watch m much uh, of his video and 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 like him. That, that's for sure. So he's he, he definitely provokes. Um, but here, the, the one the one redeeming thing here is she she asked him a question. Were you asked to leave? And he said yes, which he was. Here. I don't know what she is. She hasn't identified herself. Okay. I'm gonna step out of the rain. Sure, absolutely. <clears throat> so also, um, we are also being video and audio recorded. Sure, like appreciate it. Yeah, Accountability, absolutely. transparency. We're all we yeah, all absolutely. love it. Absolutely. So I'm gonna go talk to her, and if she is the supervisor here, and if she does want you trespass, then you will be trespassed. Okay. So, um, what what does that mean if she is? So, a, you can, my partner will so even though it is a federal building, you can still be trespassed from it. That's incorrect. No, that is correct. No, no, you're act you're absolutely wrong. And to to be honest with you, one hundred percent honest, you are Des Moines police officer. You have no jurisdiction on this, this property. This is in Des Moines. What? This is in Des Moines. That's my jurisdiction. You're, you're not you're, you're not are listening. Are you in the city of Des Moines? You're not you're not listening. Are you in the city of Des Moines? Why you can't film inside there, sir? It's a safety. It's, it's a safety. Okay. We, don't, we don't want people to come in there and they might see your post and even though you're doing it for the news, right? Okay. Totally get it. Okay. But there might be some packages or something and we don't want bad guys to be able to figure your stuff out and then harm anybody here, okay? Sure. And so we're just asking you nicely if you could move on to another place, we would greatly appreciate well, it. Well, here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to educate you guys really quick. Okay, okay, you can try. This is federal property, I okay? <laughs> I like her. You can try. Uh, all this stuff, I'm not weighing in on all this because I, I'm just having a late, late video day. It, it does implicate a lot of things. Uh, you know, the, the argument does not make a lot of sense to me that, the, that you can't call the local police. He's he's just trying to dodge things, of course. I mean, I, I don't think it's required that you call the federal mar marshals because it's the post office. The post office is a quasi-government organization. This it's is public. Building. Yes, this is public. It's mm -hmm. open to the public. Right. Um, then they have a right huh? at any time to have somebody trespass. They okay. can come to us. We are acting as their agent. Okay, and here's the deal. You can you can tell me you're going to trespass me, right? You want to trespass me, right? No, I don't want to. They okay. want to Okay, well, are you going to give me a formal trespass so yes. I can be on my way? Okay. Yes. Absolutely. I just want to let you know. Is it going to be in writing? Yes. Okay. I appreciate that. I really yeah, appreciate absolutely. that. Absolutely. And then and you can sign it if you want. If you don't want to, you don't have to. But right. I will read it to you. Okay. okay? Just so you know, mm -hmm. you're 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 stepping into territory of federal lawsuits. And you might hear this all the time, but you're dealing with someone that does this all the time. Okay. <laughs> but has zero success. So uh, okay, whatever. We're all shaking in our boots here. And this is going to be a huge settlement. 
just okay. so you know. So okay. I'm trying to help you out. I'm trying to not help well, you I, keep your job because this is I bad for you. Not. You you have no idea okay. of the First Amendment right of the people. Okay. And this is public photography. Okay. Poster 7, Rules okay. and Regulations of Outside the Post Office. you're fine, sir. Inside you're no. not. Okay. The, listen, this is federal property. Inside, understand. outside, doesn't matter. I understand that, okay? Right. You cannot film uh, inside. So just give me my, my formal trespass. Okay. I'll be on my way. I'll okay. file my lawsuit okay. to, uh, Monday morning. Sure. And, what, and yeah. I'm sorry, what was your name again? So I'm not going to give you my name. Okay, then how am I supposed to put I, I am interested if, if he's filed this lawsuit. I know I'm late to the game. I know he's got some other trouble going on. I know all sorts of stuff. But this is this is where <laughs> I'm I'm going in here. I don't know how much of him I can stomach past this, but uh, you know, if, if he filed a federal lawsuit, I would like to follow it, like uh, like some of the other ones I have. You're just gonna give me a formal trespass, That's and I'm. Not how that, works. that is how that works. No, it's not. I okay. can't give you a formal trespass if I don't know who you are. You can give me the paper. So okay. I'm asking. Here's the deal. Here's how trespassing works. Uh -huh. We ask you to leave, and you don't leave. Right. Then you're trespassing. Now. So are you asking me to leave? We are asking. So you're to giving leave. me a lawful demand. Okay, so under threat of arrest, I'm leaving right now. Okay, thank okay? you. I'm leaving. Okay. Uh, what's your name, real quick? Officer Komjanovic. What's your badge number? I don't have a badge number. Name and badge number? Sergeant Savage, 9803. Okay, who's your superior? Uh, the Chief Thomas. Okay, I'll be down at your precinct right away to uh, make some complaints. <laughs> so uh, Chief Thomas isn't in today. Remember, I warned you, right? Federal okay. lawsuit, right? Okay, yep. thank Just you. Wait, a, wait a couple weeks, okay? <laughs> have a good one. I really don't know the, the merits of this stuff, and I know everyone's going to get cranky when I say that. I, I didn't sit there and plow through this. I, I handle, like, personal injury cases and that kind of stuff. I'm not dealing with trespass and uh, First Amendment issues on a day-to-day -day basis. My inclination is that they can um, – that they're entitled to have uh, appropriate time, place, and manner restrictions on speech within the building and that uh, he would never prevail. That's my gut instinct, but I don't know. I haven't done any research on it. Take care. Thank yep. you. All right, guys, we're here in Des Moines, Washington at the police station. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so dopey. Good. Um, is your captain available? What's in regards to? Um, I'd like to make some reports. Reports? Uh, some police reports or? Um, complaints on officers. So what is your name? That's not something I'm going to disclose. Okay, I'll see you here, right? Okay. Uh, I don't get that. Like, you know, it's not like they, they pulled him off the street and asked him to identify for no reason or something. He's going to them and asking for something. Right there, I just think, well, if you're not, not going to give your name, we, we can't take a report from you. The end. I, I, you know, if you're a policeman or whatever, tell me in the comment section below, but I don't, I don't think you would take anonymous reports from people on, the, on these things. Yeah, is your captain or chief of police available? No, he's not. Someone's going to come out and talk to you in a minute. <laughs> is it going to be an officer because they're not qualified to handle the situation? Oh, well, that's all that's here. So. You'll have to... I love the the, uh, the substance and all of them. They're just they're, they're no no one's qualified to talk to this guy who knows nothing about anything, who spends his day making bad videos and provoking people. I mean, he, he literally has no knowledge of anything that I'm aware of. I, he, he might, but he hasn't displayed it. Let, let, let me put it that way. But, but oh no, we, we have to have the top brass in order to have a conversation with him. I have a sergeant or something come out here. Well. <laughs> uh, are you a sergeant? I am not. The only sergeant that's here is the one that you talked to earlier. Which, so I'm just bringing you the contact information for the chief because that would be the next person who would need to Who is the to. sergeant? That you talked to earlier? I don't know. If the, if the Savage? Is yes. it, okay. Savage is the sergeant. That is correct. Okay. She made a, a very big mistake. Okay. I, so. I don't know anything about Well, I do. But, I know very well. Okay. So. so here's what I'm here to do. Okay. Is to provide you the information. Sure. That would be your next person. Okay. 
I'll grab that from you. Can I get your name? Or it's right there. there Can you, you say it? Speak it with words? No, you don't I, you don't want to use the mouth, okay? I, I don't understand the reason you need my name. I'm okay, so you've refusal to identify. How about you? You have a nice uh from the guy who refuses to identify. <laughs> She's got her name out there, easily legible. I mean, does he have a problem reading? Maybe. He might. Doesn't have a problem eating. You have a name? Right it's right there. Okay. Yep. Got it. Okay. So. You have the information that's needed. You can contact the chief. Goodbye. <laughs> See ya. Okay, I just took that as a representative, uh, fairly recent video. Um, I will put links to that in the description below, but warning, that goes to, uh, I think, Audit America or whatever it is, but the, the source. So you're giving them clicks if, if you click on that. But uh, the reason why I did this is a viewer sent me this. Thank you very much. I don't have it in front of me right now, but somebody sent me this channel, and I thought, okay, if I compare this with one of those videos, I, I can stand to do a video on this topic. Okay, this comes from a channel called Telecline, uh, and I don't know the creator or anything, but it, it is kind of fun. And I, the idea behind this is they sort of audit him, and it's exactly the way he deserves. The karma is brilliant. Let's let's take a look at it. When you got people from all around the world watching you, you sure you don't have any comments for all your fans on YouTube? <laughs> on YouTube want to know. What happened? You're a man of your word. A man of your word. Oh, she's just giving it to him. And the other background, and I don't even know it yet. I'll, I'll learn it. But I know that he's gotten into some other legal trouble, and that's why he's he's there. It looks like he's with an attorney. He's just trying to proceed with his business. But now he's got someone following him in a public building, videotaping him. And there's just not a lot he can say about it under the circumstances. I presume that's something he says. Your feelings aren't my problem, which, by the way, I kind of like. <laughs> That's a sentiment I can get behind, but but spoken by him doing his obnoxious shtick, I could see it, it being really irritating. The only thing I'm not doing is heavy breathing in the corner. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd have a perfect Glenn impression. Well, that's it. I finally did Glenn Serio uh, after after many requests. Uh, like I said, I needed a, I needed a special something, and uh, that second clip was it. Uh, I, I I could stomach the a little bit of the first video. I cut a lot of that out. That video is long, of course, but mostly it's him standing around annoying people by just being creepy and and videotaping them while they're trying to mail a package but i i, I got to the sort of uh, conflict portion of that and then and then you know got to see him sort of get his uh his payback in that second clip which made it fun for me here at log talk i share my years of education and litigation experience with you now i don't what I do is I laugh at people who are doing silly things mostly. <laughs> I have a lot of fun with it. I hope you do too. And I can tell you that the boys really appreciate it.